hi everybody today i'm going to demonstrate a uh, hello world example for spring uh, security for this i'm using maven uh, plugin for eclipse you can download this best way is to go via marketplace okay let's start i'll create one new maven project and i will set this Let's say group ID would be com hello and artifact ID. Let's say hello spring and I want a WAR file and the name hello spring. Okay, then I just click finish and I should get some project here. Okay now the project we get the project so this is a, a minimal web based project now the first thing i have to do is change the pom file so i have to add few dependencies related to spring source in the pom file so first uh, i will add i'll just copy it from my existing project so this is the property section where i have the version that is the spring framework 2.8 and the spring security 2.3 release and this is the dependencies for the eclipse oh sorry for the spring framework and this is the dependency for spring security you can get this pom.xml from the attachment uh, in the description you will see the project and from there you can download this and just copy paste in your project okay now the pom is done now we have to define few things in web app there is no web dot web inf so we have to define it Folder web inf. Finish. Sorry. Web inf. Okay. Now we have the web inf folder, and there we need web .xml. So I'll just copy from and paste it here. And in web.xml you have to you need some configuration. So in web.xml I first um, define the configuration for Spring MVC. So currently we are also using Spring MVC. So we separate model and view. So first uh, thing is this is these are the configurations for the Spring security sorry it's from mbc and so basically the important thing is only these two so currently we define a sorblet from spring framework that is the sorblet uh dispatcher sorblet and the dispatcher sorblet is mapped to um, the root url <clears throat> then we have a listener and then we defined um, the things for spring security so we define another context configuration file that is in web and so we have to define this spring security.xml which contains all the configuration related to spring security then we have we just define a filter so this is a filter from spring source uh, spring framework itself and we define the url pattern for that filter so this is the filter and this is the filter name and we define the url pattern for this filter name so it is also the root url so all known so what this filter does is it intercepts all the requests and response and does some internal things and then give control back to the sorblet okay so we've got xml is done now we have to define the spring uh that sorry before that we have to define 
uh, this uh, MBC uh, servlet, dispatcher servlet inside web data inf so since we haven't uh, so by default it would be the name minus servlet.xml or you can also define custom location here but for now i'll just define it as it is so i already have this i'll just test it here and let's open it and here the important thing is this so here i define the location of this gsp files so this is dot gsp is the suffix and now my all the gsp file will go in this basis and and the important thing is so this uh, so i tell the spring framework where to scan my content so my all the controller will lie under the package dot help and whatever i can have any package name okay let's save it and we have to define another file that is spring security.xml because we defined we said we'll also define this file so let's define it and here so basically the important thing is this and here we have defined a page called admin and it can be accessed by role user let's change it let's not make it user let's make it role admin and role admin let's define another role and the user let's say it is a not admin it is user and the role is user also let's define another role guest and password guest role guest okay so let's so we'll come to this later so these are the roles we defined and now let's go to controller and define the pages so let's make one controller and we said in our spring sorry in mvc sorblet dispatcher it is as a sorblet all the best package pa best package is commented hello so let's define new package com dot hello sorry com dot hello dot hello spring dot controller so let's define a hello world controller there just uh, copy paste the hello world controller <clears throat> okay so this is uh, a basic controller it has two pages basically it's a welcome page uh, which has a url pattern this and we define another page called slash admin page and uh, in that page we just we'll just say okay spring hello this is a admin page we'll just say this is an admin page and let's define another page let's say this is an admin profile profile page and let's say this is a admin profile page so admin profile So this is the Spring uh, MBC framework. So what you have to do is you return, you create a new object of type model and view, then add whatever you want there, then just set the view. For example, admin. So here admin page, sorry admin profile. 
so this view will be given to this admin profile and here we are displaying the name hello or we can say welcome page or any page you like doesn't matter just and let's define a page for guest or yeah guest and we'll just say this is guest page guest page and uh, finally a page for user slash user so this would be the url pattern for this page user page and this is user.jsp for this is a guest.jsp this is a user page okay so this is that's it so we have defined all the things now we have to define the pages so just to be quick i just so we have to define in web INF all the pages okay so the error okay it's our axis not there so yeah just go to the property then sorry build path confirm build path then we'll just remove this okay, file remove add library add server on times sorry i don't have server on time I, I need to add that but first let's add gre system library install gre and i need a gre so i'll just edit it and go to my directory jdk done so i'll just name it jdk okay next okay so my JDK is done. So I need to create a server also. So view other server. Okay, server is already here. So we can create a new server. Let's say one point let's say seven server. Browse <laughs> computer. Let's go to D drive. Programs, Tomcat, Tomcat. Okay. Then I want to include my JDK. Next, next. I don't want to add it at the moment. Okay. Then let's just update the project. And now let's go to build path again and add sorry what am I 1.5 again yeah, we'll see that oh um, we'll go to server runtime Apache finished and we will go to this physical places apply and here is our bar in 6. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Everything is super clear now. And now let's make a build, man build. So I'll just do run as man build. And do train install. Run. success but we have to make more pages sorry i forgot that so one was 
oh i forgot more things so i have to make more pages so this is admin page oops oops, oops. control c control p let's say it is a user page control c control p this is a guest page basically yeah I mean you can also use the same page but yeah just to show for the demo guest page and because it can be different so let's and finally the admin profile page okay so all the pages are there and basically all the page contains the same thing like title and the message so this title and the message will come from this controller yeah so title and message okay now we have to define this we who can access this this is that we do in spring security.xml and this is where it comes so we say okay this will be accessed by admin only and this admin page profile will be also accessed by the admin then admin user will be accessed by user and the guest will be accessed by guest okay so guest will be accessed by guest okay fine now let's do my build once again so we have build success and let's go to target and just do a file that is refresh now we have the war file and you can simply copy the war file to your tomcat deployment directory sorry i have already I just delete the old things and copy the new thing and rename it to hello spring okay now let's start up if everything goes fine then i shouldn't see any error okay the survey started now let's see so now this is the home page or this is also home page sorry it's not home what was the page it was welcome sorry so this is the welcome page and let's try to go to admin page yeah so so you may wonder how we got this so um, it is provided to you from the spring framework itself so this is um inbuilt of course you can change this which we will see in other video for now let's see admin admin and you are logging into admin you can also go to admin profile page and this admin profile let's try to go to user page you have to log into user user or what was the user password mm. spring security oh okay sorry but anyway password was admin user admin. yeah so you are logging into user and same way you can log into the guest 